nigga poppin' with a pocket full of cottage. Yeah. Whoa, chemo, stop it, chop up, aim it, catch a noggin. Yeah. Had to cut the body, then the top I had to top it. Scratch the nigga's pocket, watchin', so I gotta keep the pocket. Hey. Mama told me hey. not to sell words. Mama. 17, 5, same color t shirt. White. Mama told me hey. not to sell words. Mama, 17, 5, same color t shirt. So I'm back in these false grey walls. I thought I would pick up the camera and talk to you guys. It's been a bit of a weird one today because literally I've been... My train was at 8 in the morning. Arrived here at like <clears throat> 12 something. And then um, like half 12, sorry. And then and I fell asleep in the train. I was like so tired, like to the point where when the train had arrived, everyone had gone out the train and then the last customers were literally like to me, excuse me, like <laughs> we're here. Um, but then I went, um, what did I do? I went, no, 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 no. I went, um, came back here and then slept then went out, bought some dinner to make because there's nothing in my fridge i'm gonna go shopping probably tomorrow um bought some donuts got some hot thingy and bought some breakfast so then tomorrow morning i can just go shop for the rest of it but literally i went down to london for the week and i was very very busy back then and i didn't have a chance to sleep in so today was the first time i was like <sighs> conked out which is mad I had like 10 hours sleep but feels good i feel like refreshed and i feel like alive for the first time in a week so oh, my beautiful peoples um it's tuesday quarter to two i am eating porridge for breakfast because your girl's trying to be um healthy and that improve her lifestyle um and i need to go shopping i realized i've left my moisturizer back at home so even though my face is moisturized it looks dry and feels dry um so i need to buy that i need to buy some deodorant and i obviously need to buy food so i've got the breakfast down sorted but i obviously need to go and get um some lunch food and some dinner food now this is the first time where my um stews from home have all run out and so it means i actually have to cook dinner so i'm trying to figure out um what i can make to make my life easier but the problem is I've left all my containers back at home I'm an idiot and because of that I have nothing to store my food in so I'm probably gonna have to buy some cheap containers as well great so it's three o'clock now and I've just gotten back from shopping it's kind of annoying I probably spent so much money because this is the first week where um my home cooked food is not there so i have to spend more money oh, but let me pack this up and then sit down and we'll talk because my body is aching yo people so it is eight minutes to five i'm going to be leaving soon because there's going to be a presentation about volunteering abroad in the summer and I just wanted to check it out, see what it's all about, whether it's for me, whether I should apply. So I'm going to go to that presentation in the library and then um, I'll stay in the library and do my essay work until I feel hungry and then head back. But for now, basically, I've just got an, um, just, sorry, for now, all I've been doing is basically watching shows. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit, feeling a bit lazy because, um, uh, this weekend was very ram packed for the Lyman conference, so this is the first time I've actually had time to chill. Um, even though I have an essay due on Thursday, right? But whilst I was chilling, I got an email saying that my group presentation um, result has come back. <sighs> so, um,. I'm going to go and check that out and see see how it is. Oh my gosh! Oh my days! <laughs> I'm 
so happy on my days. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I am really happy. <laughs> okay, give me a second. I just need to... Wow, I need to do this. Sorry. <laughs> So, I am finally back in the comforts of my room after um, going to the library and having a bit of a sesh. Um, and um, I was there for like three hours. Um, but I got really hungry, so I was like, come home and start to eat. So, I've got some noodles um, that I'm going to eat, and I'm going to watch some videos. I think I'm going to watch some more. Your Husbands of Hollywood. This is a love. Just go enjoy, chill for a bit, and then get back onto the grind. Ding. When they said beast from the east, they were not playing. morning guys so um it is wednesday um and it's actually um 12 and i am making some body give me a sec okay time to make the tea and then we'll Take you back to the room. said earlier the snow is crazy it's real um so i am basically stuck to these four walls because you guys are not going anywhere why because it's freaking cold let me show you so i've kept the window closed the curtain closed because i don't want any of that cold breeze coming out but can you can you focus please why isn't that not focusing look at this it probably is because everyone was wishing for a white christmas but christmas is done it's meant to be march like what is this nonsense can can you stop please bruh nonsense do you think i'm gonna kill myself in that kind of cold no way please so um like i said i am doing my essay it's due tomorrow um which means i need to get done tonight i am finishing off the plan and typing up everything onto the plan before i start typing up the actual essay because i realized with my other essay it actually helped just having it all in one place so then i could just type and go so that's what we're gonna do it's um 11 no 11 138 at the moment let's see how much of the grind your girl gets on luck right so it's 3 30 and i thought i'll do a quick check-in with you guys um wow um i've done quite a lot in the last um 
I think it, it has been like just over an hour or close to two hours since I last spoke to you. Um, I've just been very, very explicit in my plan. Oh, sorry, you can't see me. I've been very explicit in my plan as in each point. I've just like been like, this is what you need to say. Because, like I said, with my other essay, I felt like it helped so much by structuring it like that. Um, so this might be, if if the grades do come out better, this might be the new method for me. So basically what I wanted to do, because I'm feeling a bit hungry, was I wanted to read this article again. I've already read it because of tutorials, but I just wanted to read and highlight any um, information which I could use to support my initial findings when I first read it. Now that I've got all that quoted up and everything, um, I'm going to take a break and eat some food. After that break, I will type up those notes and then um, finish my last point because I've got four points in total. And then, once I've done that, I could probably start writing this essay. <laughs> Yo guys, um, what's up guys, um, basically there has been a change, so it is currently 10.30 and um, you know how I said that I would basically um, have my essay done by tonight, well I haven't and you know why, because your girl has got an extension. As I've said earlier, the beast from the east, the snowmageddon, basically the, the hurricane outside, that storm um, of snow has basically caused a lot of problems. We've got a red alert from the Met office basically saying that, you know, we need to be careful when we're taking off outside. I mean, a lot of shops or like businesses have closed early just because of the weather conditions outside like i know transport is stopping early um but because of that um they close the day they close uni today and they also close uni tomorrow um and then because of all these weather conditions as well the uni was like listen we understand like basically uni is closed and a lot of crap is happening so we're going to extend your deadline to monday which I've been so happy for means that tomorrow I can spend the day going through this essay and spending more time working on it. All I've been doing right now is house searching, looking for more properties. I haven't been super unproductive, um, but also listening to music because you know how to jam. If they don't bring you, if they, wait, hmm, let me get this right. Basically, if the party doesn't accommodate for you, make sure you accommodate for the party. And that's what I'm doing. This is a day two day three day three of the beast from the east the craziness that we call global warming and all its galore wow it hasn't stopped snowing <sighs> and can you see how thick it is jeez i don't know how i'm getting to work on the weekend but 
yeah it's gonna be a mad one so i think i told you guys but if i haven't already today uni is cancelled and my deadline for um my essay got pushed um i think i have a snap reacting oh my jeez it's got even even worse so quickly look it's like so white like i can't even see the sky now yeah i'm gonna order gloves right now um for the weekend so that i can actually get somewhere um hi guys future hadi just to let you know she still hasn't got those gloves jeez it's so bad but anyway my deadline got extended so now i can work on my essay and whatnot but first of all i'm going to probably eat breakfast start calling up um properties so we can schedule some viewings and then oh my days jeez um sorry i'm just so like ah, about the weather my hands dry um and then um what's it called order these gloves and then start with the essay Jeez Louise, it is 20 minutes to 5 at the moment and I have, well, the snow has not subsided and it's still crazy out there but ultimately I have been booking housing viewings for the last couple of, since the last time I talked to you um, Yo, the calendar is looking quite crazy for the next couple of weeks of March Yes? Yep, it's looking quite crazy um, if I just give you a little whistle top view. This is what I can expect to be going on. Yes, it's quite crazy. But don't worry, just because there are like a lot of Facebook events doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to all of them. It just means I'm interested in them. But yeah, it's still quite crazy. Um, and this is next week. As you can see, I've pretty much got a viewing every day of the weekday apart from Tuesday. Um, so it's a lot going on, but it's better to have some places to view, places to live. And that's not all the places that have been checked off the list. Like I've still got plenty of other places which I need to call up and, um, sorry, I was about to sneeze, call up and view. So, um, but I feel mighty productive. I'm feeling super ace, which is great. That was that. I'm getting in it. Okay. Hold on, babe. No, no, it's not gonna work. So it's 3 p.m. on the 2nd of March and I forgot to say happy new month for last yesterday because um, I think I didn't really explain what was going on yesterday but yesterday um, I was going to do some work um, on my essay but then um, I kind of got distracted because everyone was celebrating Molly's birthday. She's one of my flatmates so happy belated even though I probably said happy birthday to you several times yesterday. So we went out to the snow and just had a lot of fun. And I think I didn't really record a lot. If I did, it was all on my snap. Um, and I'll see, maybe I'll insert those clips, but most of it, I'll just keep it. Um, but my body is literally dead and I have slept in. Luckily, because there's no uni, no work, but now that I'm awake like, and I showered last night, I'm gonna basically get up, probably eat something, and then go onto the laptop and make a few calls again for housing to sort out any viewings. Hopefully, businesses are open today. And then um, I will go on to work on my essay for tonight. Um, it's weird because it's Friday today, so it's like the end of this week's vlog. Wow. I feel like I haven't actually vlogged this week properly, but there has been no uni pretty much and nothing much to say or do, I guess. 
but we'll see what happens anything can change like yesterday taught me that <laughs>